Last year, I proclaimed La Roche-Posay UV Immune 400 the best sunscreen of 2022. This year, La Roche-Posay has a new formulation and oil control claim. So I have to see what is that about. And this year, I almost proclaimed Garnier Invisible Serum Sunscreen the best sunscreen of 2023, mostly because of its amazing sensor characteristics. But I failed to do so because of the UV filters. The time has come to compare these two and finally see which one takes the win for 2023. Let's start by comparing the sensor characteristics. Before I start with comparing these two sunscreens, I want to introduce you to something that has been a game changer in my own skincare routine. Behold, the Pro Facial Wand. Okay, so this is the first ever cordless high-frequency facial wand. So this is a device they use in beauty salons for facials in a nutshell, but it's also available for at-home use. Ever since I included this in my skincare routine, my skin has been reborn. This device generates a high-frequency oscillating current that is applied to skin surface. When the device touches the skin, it produces a mild electrical zapping sensation. Here's how it sounds. But don't worry, it doesn't hurt, doesn't sting, doesn't create any sensation whatsoever on the face. It's perfectly safe for use. And this technology is used for treating acne, reducing inflammation, and improving the appearance of acne-prone skin. It's also used for reducing fine lines and wrinkles by stimulating collagen and elastin production. Also increasing the blood flow in the skin, which promotes a healthier complexion, and it can also decrease the facial puffiness in under-eye bags. This little beauty right here comes with three different attachments. Mushroom head, the comb, and the 90 degree small attachment. Mushroom head is used to cover the larger areas. 90 degree tube is used for targeting specific areas. And this one is great for acne treatment, for example. And the comb attachment is of course used for stimulating the hair growth. Trust me, this device is a game changer for achieving that glowing and youthful skin we all crave for. Okay, now let's see the sensor characteristics of these two. You already know how much I love Garnier Invisible Face Serum. It's it's matte, it absorbs super fast, leaves no white cast, and sometimes I need to use UV Magic Mirror because that's how fast it is absorbing. I can't recall if I covered my whole face with it. La roche on the other hand, not sure where they were going with this new formulation, I have to say it. And also, I'm not sure if all the sunscreens are like this or just mine comes from the bad batch, I don't know. But this one has sand-like particles in it that are left on my face after it is absorbed. And this seems like something undissolved in the formulation. I'm not sure what it is, but it is strange. And one more thing, I don't find this sunscreen exactly matte. How is this oil control? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where La Roche-Posay was going with this exactly. It's actually a little bit greasy and I feel like the previous formulation was better. I, I'm just not sure I'm loving this one. Of course, I tested them both with the UV camera and here are the results. Okay, so let's see what the UV camera has to say. Okay, so this is right after application. So on this side, you can see La Roche-Posay is extremely dark, shows up really dark in the UV camera. That tells me that the coverage is good and you can achieve a lot with just one layer. Then this is Garnier. On the other hand, it does look slightly lighter than La Roche-Posay, but it's still pretty dark. And this is how they show up in UV camera initially after application. Fast forward two hours after application, they're still looking dark um, as if I just applied them. Pretty much um, both of the sunscreens are there. I don't see any removal of the sunscreen whatsoever. So two hours later, they're pretty good. Fast forward four hours after application. Now here we can see that La roche has worn off a little bit, but I personally think that's because I tend to touch my face a lot. Garnier is better on the other side, but then again, I think the La roche side is worse because I tend to lean my face on my right hand. I sometimes do that. So I think that's why La roche side has worn off more, but overall they're performing really well for four hours after application. I think that these are great results. Fast forward six hours after application. Okay, so here we can see that La Roche-Posay side has worn off, um, but so did uh, Garnier, I would say, but 
not that much actually compared to korean sunscreens these two are actually amazing and after six hours they're still on my face so uh, of course i'm not recommending that you don't reapply sunscreen because in order to maintain that claim protection you do need to reapply it more often but i'm just testing for fun and yes based on this experiment we can see that they do hold up pretty well and now lastly which one of these has better uv filters so uv immune has uh, eight uv filters in total out of which three are really important to emphasize and those are mixoral xl mixoral sx and mixoral 400 the best uv filter for protecting against the ultra long uva rays known today and then Garnier on the other side has decent UV filters and out of these three superstars, Mixorals are superstars among UV filters. This one has only Mixoral XL. And now I'm not saying Garnier has bad UV filters, they are decent, it's just that La Roche-Posay has better UV filters. And now which one of these takes the title of the best sunscreen of 2023? I would still go for Garnier. Why? Well, because I can't stress enough how important the sensor characteristics on a sunscreen are. If they're not good, you won't even apply sunscreen in the first place. So kudos to La Roche-Posay for the amazing UV filters. I love them. I just think they need to work on this formulation a little bit more to create a little bit better sensor characteristics. And sensor characteristics on Garnier take the cake. Like if you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Bye.